With property prices going through the roof, it has become nearly impossible to purchase a house without a house loan. While finding a suitable location and a well-constructed building might not take a prior preparation, raising funds to purchase a property is always a long-term plan. Banks, after all, only give you 80% of the property value, and the rest 20, that's your down payment, is a challenge which is unique in itself. If you are a first-time house buyer, then stay tuned and work with us as we tell you what are the best ways of getting that down payment ready. Hello and welcome. I'm Anukriti Bisht, a financial advisor with the leading financial institution of the country. And you're watching a learning episode on wealth management bite size. Start early, start smart. Buying a house needs planning well in advance. Arranging the down payment is a long-term project and it needs a good deal of discipline and dedication. You can save for it through an investment instrument such as mutual funds, fixed deposit or others. You must pick an instrument based on the time that you have in your hand. To get a better idea of what your down payment would look like, make sure that you are analyzing your real estate market of possible locations of your dream home. Friends and family come to the rescue. If you are not ready for your down payment at the time of buying a house, you can borrow from a friend or relative for a short period of time. However, go only for the amount that you are falling short by and make sure you have a repayment plan in place before you borrow within the circle of your friends and family. 99% of the time, this loan will come to you without any interest rate attached to it, which is always a good news. Check the LTV from bank. Loan to value is the amount of money a bank is willing to lend to the purchase of the property versus the value of the property. As we spoke earlier, the bank will only give you 80% of the value of property. However, if the loan amount is less than 30 lakhs, then maybe the bank can finance 90% of the property of the value. Bank also considers the repayment capacity of a borrower before sanctioning a loan. So make sure that your credit score is a healthy number. Anything above 750 on your civil should not be a trouble for you at all. Other costs that you should be aware of. Customers often miss out on the associated cost of buying a house. Stamp duty and registration charges are two such costs which will definitely be there and do make a very large dent in your pocket. While registration cost is somewhere around 30,000, stamp duty costs about 5% of the circle rate, ready reckoner rate or the actual property value, whichever is more in value. While you raise funds for down payment, make sure you have a contingency plan to help you tie over in case of unforeseen emergencies. You should always have a backup fund ready to take care of your EMIs as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information on this episode value adding. Don't forget to like us, share us and subscribe to us. See you soon.